In this video, let's look at AutoCode Rover. AutoCode Rover is a fully automated approach for resolving GitHub issues. So given a text description of a GitHub issue, AutoCode Rover takes it as input and it makes use of LLM as agents to uh, analyze the issue, debug the issue and generate patches. So previously we had SWE agent from Princeton. Uh, which was actually an approach to identify and solve issues in GitHub. Now you have AutoCode Rover from National University of Singapore, from researchers at NUS Singapore. They have a slightly different approach over here for the same task. So what they have done is that they have created a SWE bench light benchmark, which consists of 300 real world GitHub issues. And in this benchmark, Auto Ro Code Rover resolves 22% of issues over the current, uh, you know, state of art, which is SWE agent. Okay. So over that, uh, this gives considerably better performance. So how does Auto Code Rover work? It works in two stages. We'll look into the details in the paper. Uh, and there is this interesting thing in the paper, which I wanted to point out where they say that our approach resolves 67 GitHub issues in less than 10 minutes each, whereas developers spent more than 2.77 days on average in their SWE bench light benchmark. That is what they are claiming over here. Their approach resolved 67 GitHub issues in less than 10 minutes, whereas developers spent more than 2.77 days on average. They are claiming huge productivity improvements over human developers. Okay. Now, as I said, this approach works in two stages. So the idea over here is that the first stage you have something called as context retrieval, given a problem statement, which is a text description of the issue. Uh, this particular context retrieval agent over here, which is an LLM and the LLM used over here is GPT-4 as a context retrieval agent. So it is actually prompted to do that. It collects context by invoking APIs, certain APIs are provided. Now, based on these results, context analysis is done. And if the context is sufficient, it identifies the buggy locations. And then a patch generation agent, again, an LLM, which acts as a patch generation agent, again, GPT-4. It tries to identify the code at the buggy location and it writes a patch. And this patch, it checks if this patch can be applied to the program. If it can be applied, it uh, generates the final patch. So that is the idea over here. So they have given an example over here of a, a Django project where uh, uh, they talk about an issue and how it is resolved in say the context analysis agent and then the patch generation agent. You can look at it. But the idea is that, so what they have done is that they have taken the SWE bench and they have constructed a light version of the SWE bench uh, because there is a high cost of evaluating in the complete bench. So this, the SWE bench team, um, not these researchers, but the SWE bench team have created a SWE bench light benchmark, which includes 300 task instances sampled from SWE bench, uh, following a similar GitHub repository distribution as the SWE bench. So they have actually tested on uh, AutoCode Rover and SWE agent on this particular SWE light benchmark. And that is where they claim that they have 22% of issues being solved by AutoCode Rover. And with that, they claim that they are better than SWE agent, which was the current state of art in on the SWE bench. Okay. Challenges on real life tasks. Okay. So when they looked at failures, uh, they actually were able to uh, identify some issues, uh, you know, like uh, there was 22.3% success. Whereas what are the failures which were happening? The failures which were happening was like wrong patch. The generated patch modifies all methods that are modified in the developer patch. So this means that the patch content is wrong, but the patch locations are correct. Okay. So the patch content was wrong. Okay. Then the generated patch that modifies the correct file, but wrong locations in the file. Okay. The patch was proper, but wrong uh, locations in the file was updated. The generated patch modifies the wrong file itself. 
and finally no patch is generated from the retrieved context okay so among the 300 tasks in SWE Benchlight, uh, auto code resolve uh, res uh, resolves 22.3 percent of issues and if you look at you know failures the rest are failures and these are the reasons for failures okay in 31.7 percentage of cases wrong patch in 20.7 percent lo wrong location incorrect file wrong file itself the patch is generated in the wrong file and in 6.7 percent cases no patch has been generated okay so this is what is a, some of the real life challenges for automating software engineering so the code is available over here you can replicate all the experiments uh, you can run uh, auto code rover so you can check out this repository if you want to try it out this is an interesting approach compared to the approach which was used in SWE agent which was making use of LLMs as agents there we had uh, different agents I made a video on SWE agent also you can check it out I'll be putting that video uh, link in the description of this video so this is a short video on autocode rover a new approach for say AI of a new approach for creating AI software engineers I hope this video is useful to you. I'll be putting the GitHub link as well as the paper link in the description of the video. You can check it out. See you in another video.